This is why the attacks on September 11th worked. Because we had a policy that if someone wants to hijack a plane, you follow their instructions. You do not deny them their requests. Because the assumption was, if you deny their requests, they will start harming people. And if you follow their requests, it will delay when they harm them, if they harm them at all, and maybe everyone will end up safe. It was not in the game plan that they would crash the plane. So September 12th, you will never again be able to do that to an American plane. Forget the extra x-rays that we're doing. A pilot will never relinquish the cockpit, no matter who they're torturing in the back of the plane, no matter what they're doing, even if they're shooting people one by one, because the plane going down takes everybody out. That was a pretty easy door to close, but no one saw it coming. And by the way, one thing I noticed is that there was no shockwave. I might have been the closest scientist to the event. I said, well, how can we have an explosion and no shockwave? And I later learned you kind of make a deflagration wave. If you atomize fuel and then you spark it, then the flame moves across the fuel. It's not a shock wave. It's just a deflagration wave.